what's up, everyone? What the app? Um, I got something like in my tooth. Just had some chicken. Carnivore chicken. Um, I mean, what else? Is it? Vegan chicken? I guess there's vegan chicken, whatever. Carnivore diet chicken. Real chicken. Uh, protein. Uh, what does I say? Protein, but like, uh, GMO filled chicken. That's what I just had. Um, I'm just laying down right now. I got to take my son to baseball soon. Uh, we're going to Santa Barbara tonight for a comedy show with uh, Keith Graber and uh, my girl, Jessica Winther. Uh, should be a lot of fun. I think I'm doing 10 or 15 minutes. And uh, it'll be a nice little warm up. Uh, for tomorrow, I think I'm, I want to go out to Phoenix. I'm going to be doing 25, 30 minutes, something like that. 35, I don't know. Um, a lot of driving in two days. Santa Barbara, if, if anyone knows, is about two, two and a half hours north of LA. So I'm driving up there, then I'm going to drive back. And then tomorrow morning, picking up Dan, I think around 6, 6.30 in the morning. And then we're heading out to um, Phoenix. And that's like a six hour drive, six and a half hour drive. Longer if there's traffic, but we're trying to get out there by like two o'clock, the latest. So yeah, lots to do. Um, I did an audition today. Thank you to my manager, Dante. So um, he's been getting me some auditions recently. And so I did that audition earlier. And then, uh, yeah, I went and washed my truck. My truck hasn't been washed in like a month. I've been so busy, but also like it's been raining and honestly, like just not a lot of money. You know, washing your truck is kind of an expense. <sighs> it sucks. I really hope I start working soon. I know I have the the job that's supposed to start like mid to mid June, end of June, but, or is it July? It might be July even. I don't know. Now, now I'm like getting confused, but, but, um, unemployment's going to run out before then. So I'm hoping I can work and make some money before then selling barbecue, uh, working on other film sets, whatever. I need to get like some commercial money or something. But right now I'm just, Trying to rest my back and my legs. Conserve that energy for tonight. I love you, Santa Barbara. Here we go, baby. All right, y'all. So I'm in Santa Barbara, and uh, uh, it's kind of chilly out. Um, you can probably hear some music in the background or whatnot. It's really nice. If you haven't been to Santa Barbara, highly recommend it. It's a super cute town. Uh, a lot of college kids. Um, but the crowd's pretty small. Uh, but uh, it should still be good. It's a good place for practice. Gonna try some new jokes tonight. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm glad Miguel came because they gave Miguel a 10 minute spot. I think that's important. You show up. You show up, you go up, as Keith just uh, told us. And I love that. You show up, you go up. I told him, I was like, I'm gonna show up to all your shows, dude. Get 10 minute spots. <laughs> um, but there's like, 10 people in the lineup because we added to Miguel and another person. I think there was eight now we added to. Um, but we should be able to go up, do our 10 minute spots, and get out of here. Miguel's going up before me, so that's cool. And probably get the energy up. Um, but yeah, the first few people didn't do so hot, which is fine. It's cold out, crowd isn't huge. And uh, that usually affects if you don't have a lot of people like laughing, it's hard to get people to start laughing when it's a small crowd in the cold. There's a table of like four girls who can't be even 21, 22. They're all wearing like tube tops and like shorts. I don't know. I don't get it. They said they're from the Bay Area. And I get they have colder weather up there, but that's freaking nuts. Anyways, let's go in there and just have fun. Look at this. So this is Santa Barbara, guys. So, it is Thursday night. It seems pretty quiet for a Thursday night. Be able to drive through here years ago. I don't know when they shut it down, but it's super cute. A lot of restaurants, a lot of bars. We are at 
on the red piano. So I'll show you guys. Let's go inside real quick. Let's go inside. Let's go check this place out. Got our security guard guy. What up, dog? That's right. So they actually have someone playing piano in here all the time. Check this out. Side where the show is. I don't know. I don't know. I grew up. This is real. I grew up an orphan. I hated it. Uh, and I'm jealous of dogs because they got their branding down right. Right. Like write in your diary, dear diary. Yesterday got my first pubic hair. Today, poof, gone. Hi, <laughs> right, Miguel. How was your show? Oh, it was fun, dude. Got to yeah. try new stuff. Yeah, we tried some new stuff. Sadly, I forgot to hit record on my camera. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it was so stupid, dude. But um, the uh, producer of the show said he recorded our set, so I don't know if I'll get it soon. If I could put any of it here, or if it's going to be in like you know 2025, we'll find out. It's always fun to try new stuff. It is. He uh, Miguel tried some stuff. Uh, it was really good. Some new stuff. I tried some new stuff. It was I some of the, it was good. Some of it was okay. I made the table of un un. Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah. The table of no laughs laugh. Yes, he did. So I, I, I said, dude, your mission, <laughs> should you accept, is to make these four girls who were like 21, 22, 23, whatever they were, early 20s, to make them laugh. Yeah, I'm and gonna, he did. I made And them then laugh. I made them laugh, then too. you made them laugh. Yes, right. Only three of us did. Only three of us made that table laugh. You going to use the restroom? I'm going to go pee. Okay, bye. Do you want to meet me? No, you're, my car's Where over you here. Yeah, I'm going to wait here for you. Okay. I'm gonna I'll wait right here. Uh, he's got the bladder of an 87 year old <laughs> uh, but no the show was good thank you so much Keith thank you Jessica Winther for having us um, they had good sets too uh, Keith opened up the show he hosted and that's, that's a hard spot especially when you don't have a small crowd and trying to get the crowd going um, or the lack thereof crowd but, uh, but he did well he held his own good hosting uh, throughout the show I came out brought in some jokes where he needed to and then uh, Jessica came out closed the show with her big energy as she always does and uh, she was lovely and uh, yeah so we're gonna get out of here now well as soon as Miguel gets out of the bathroom but I don't know if you can see it started to get foggy you can kind of see it around the lights yeah we hit like a gnarly patch of fog coming up here to Santa Barbara we were in fog for I don't know, probably like a five mile stretch. It wasn't like too dense, but the fear is as the temperature dropped, it's gonna get pretty dense all the way back. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm obviously not gonna be able to post this tomorrow because I'm on the road. So tomorrow uh, we are heading out to Phoenix, uh, Dan Green and I, so that'll be a lot of fun. Do we got any veterans in the house? Obviously not you. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, yeah, who said woo? We got veterans in here? JD, dude, what, uh, what branch? Navy. What's that? Navy. Okay, he won't like this joke. Hey, Navy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was in the Army for six years. Yeah, dude. Woo. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I only learned one thing in six years. All the battle cries start with H. Exactly. <laughs> Army. Army. We say woo. The Marines say hoorah. JD says hey. <laughs> There you go, buddy. <laughs> uh, do we got some road ragers in the house? Is there road rage in Santa Barbara? Is there road rage in uh, San Francisco? You don't know? You're not driving yet? Come on, I heard you say you're driving. <laughs> Have you road raged yet? Have you road raged? Don't pass it. No? no? Fuck off. I'm not talking to you. Listen. <laughs> All right, do we got road ragers? We know you are, dude. Were you riding a Harley or something? No, I was shot at in the 1980s. Well deserved, I bet. Well deserved, I bet. All right. <laughs> Look, I'm a born-again road rager. 
I love Road Rage. Um, this is my coming to story how I got into stand-up comedy.